Welcome to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance tips and reviews. This week we're going to be talking a little bit about avoiding things that we cannot control while we're lifting and focusing only on the things that we can control. I'm Jason Dolby and I'm here with JT Netterville, Master of Sport in the Long Cycle, 54 reps, last year's Cali Open, respect, JT, thanks for, thanks for jumping in. Uh, basically, what we want to talk about today is this fog, right? It's some kind of volcanic fog that comes in and makes things really, really challenging to deal with during the training. Buckley and I worked out with you today, and it was very, very challenging on the lungs. So can you kind of share what the fog is and how you mentally deal with it during the training? The, the fog is the, the, the volcanic smog blows up from the big island. There's not a lot of things to complain about in Hawaii, of course, but once those trade winds die down and you get the Kona wind bringing all the sulfur and the, the ash, the particulate from the volcanoes back up this way, uh, there's just not much you can do about it. You can see back here, you can see the mountains. When the fog rolls in, you really can't see much past the skyline right over here. So it's just, it can immediately impact your breathing, oxygen consumption, utilization. It is such a cardiovascular thing that we do, you have to take it into account. So it depends on the day, but it's one of those things. You check on it, you coordinate it with your training. What's the weather going to be? What's the winds doing? You know, there's certain days where, you know, the fog is rolling in, and we actually can use that. So, for example, I don't know, um, uh, there was a uh, Michael Phelps coach who was talking about one of the things he was doing leading up to the uh, Olympics was sometimes he just walked past on the pool deck and actually purposely step on uh, Phelps' goggles. So when he's swimming, the water and it makes it difficult to practice. So when you see a day that's like moderately foggy, sometimes we'll actually choose to send our athletes or send, you know, I'll do my training outside to get that training. Wow. Okay. But at the same time, when it's really beating you down and you know that, look, this is here, you have to plan alternate. Try to find somewhere inside. Try to find, you know, because there's so much in the training that you have to focus on and think of. You're looking at your breathing, your heart rate, your pace in the minute, you're trying to get to the next minute. When it's things like that, you can't control is cut it out, focus on the things that you can, right. and you got to maintain that sanity in your set. Right, so so basically what you're saying is uh, <clears throat> the fog coming in, it's, it's like a pyroclastic cloud that punches you in the face and yeah. in the lungs, and it's a real challenge. And uh, for example, whether it's too hot, whether it's too cold, uh, whether the humidity is really high, whether you have a broken toe, whether your, your hands are hurting, or you have raw skin on the hands, not to focus on those things, not to focus on weather or the person next to you on the platform, to focus on things that you can control, one repetition at a time, focusing on your checkpoints in your technique instead of worrying of 10 reps away or one rep behind or the weather or the bog, right? Just focusing on what you do. Yeah, focus on what you can control, get through that minute, get the reps in that minute, deal with the next one and it gets there. What's in your control? How do you work with eliminating, be it just in your planning or in the moment mentally, eliminating and cutting out the things that you've got no control over whatsoever? Very nice. Uh, thanks, JT. So focus on the mind and staying within your moment and don't get ahead of yourself and don't reach out and find excuses in other parts of your environment or things that you cannot control. Focus on the things that you can. Obviously, this week's Shirt shout out is Move Fitness and Training. Big JT Netterville, Master of Sport. Thank you again, JT. Absolutely. All right, this has been the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog. I'm Jason Dolby. JT, talk to you soon. Aloha.